So what we're speaking specifically about today is Maya. It's a module that can be activated in your system. So if it's not on, go into modules in your dropdown. If you don't see modules, you're just not an admin. Your admin's got to flip it on for you. No cost to turn it on. You just got to activate it. It's activated my account. So it says deactivate here. If it's not account, it would say activate. So Maya, short for mortgage AI assistant. A few things that you can do with Maya today that you've been able to do. And Maya is a, a growing tool as it's used by our client base and as it is asked more questions and tasked to do more information it actually gets smarter so the first thing is to access maya as like a command tool or an advanced features tool in your upper right hand corner this is where you can select and see your history within your crm all of your text history but if this is selected here this is where you would access Maya. And so here, uh, you also have the ability to access this via the Be In Touch app. You also could integrate this with Siri or Alexa to ask Maya questions instead of typing them in. But this is like a simple advanced search feature or command tool where you could type in, show me unread SMS messages today or find incomplete applications. You could even use the system to type in, create a task to email Joe Smith. Find me all birthdays in March and it can spit them all out for you. Super simple tool, especially for new users to help you navigate the system, to pull data out of the system. It's also now integrated with a new feature that I'll talk about at the end, but this is very easy to use. It's also again, accessible on our app and also can be integrated with Siri Alexa to pull data or command the system to do a certain functionality. The other piece of Maya already in our system is this success probability. Once you, you know, get your database into our system, whether that's potential borrowers, past clients, and put them on different campaigns, Maya can start feeding you suggestions in terms of activities to take on a record to get them to the finish line. Based on past records that started as leads or prospects and got funded, it can give you suggestions. Hey, this person, based on the history of this client, if you create more tasks, if you reach out via text, put them on X campaign, you have more of a probability to get this person to the finish line. To activate both of those features, again, um, is in our modules and add Maya. Third piece of Maya that has been around that I just wanted to quickly review is that we also have in our system, every record in our mortgage database and every record in your partnership database gets access to a password protected portal. It's also an app. Borrower side, so if there's a record in your mortgage database, it's a built-in POS. Clients can use that to complete a full application, upload documents to you, communicate with you, be updated on statuses of a loan, request pre-approval. But on that portal, there's also Maya built in. So on the dashboard side of Maya, and so this is just a, a preview of what this portal can look like, all branded to your company, your specific information showing milestone updates here. But a client could ask questions of Maya on this portal and they can get automated answers. And that tool is growing again as it gets more questions, Maya gets smarter. So the new piece we are extremely excited to introduce is now what we call Maya Assist. It is our Maya tool integrated with OpenAI. This product is specifically called ChatGPT. If you do a simple Google search, if you guys aren't familiar, it's becoming a very popular product. It has the ability and level of intelligence to create simple articles, simple emails for you to create content in seconds. And we now have that integrated in our system. So whether you're sending an email to an individual, whether you are sending an email to a group of folks, your entire mortgage database, maybe you wanna update your referral partners with information. You wanna add an email to a marketing campaign. You wanna create a templated email that you wanna use not only today, but you wanna use it in the future. You can do that in our system, whether you're sending a individual email, group email, creating an automated email, creating a template email to use in the future. It's all done in our editor, so it all looks same. Just as an example, if I was going to send the same email to all eight of these leads, I can select them all and I can hit send email. So that pulls up our email editor. When you create content, this is going to automatically attach to your signature, which can look and feel any way that you'd like. Color, graphics, picture, any information automatically attached to the content that you put into this editor. So with our new Maya Assist, you guys will notice that there is this new icon. So we have these different icons in our editor that have been around where you can insert a meta 
tag to personalize an email or you can insert a custom video if you wanted custom video embedded into an email. We have a link to insert any YouTube video. We have all of these different links that you can add different content to a specific email. Again, individual, group, automated. The email editor on our system is all the same. Now we have this new icon here with a drop down. This is where you can insert text or insert an image with Maya. So we'll start with inserting a text. This is where you can see we have our integration in place with Chat GPT. It gives you a little information here. It says my assist powered by Chat GPT. Please note that this is an experimental technology and the results require your review. In other words, you can command this feature to create an article just about anything. If you asked it once and you asked it again, the second article would be unique. So we give you just some suggestions in terms of how you can type in information, but you can write or command this thing to do and write, like just again, just about anything that you want that you want to message out to your client base with. So I'm just going to select this where it says write a short article explaining what is a PMI in a mortgage. It takes a few seconds here and it'll spit out a simple little article that would be unique if I did it again. And there you go. It's created this article automatically for me. Now I could insert this directly into the email, inserting meta tag, and then add any additional content once it's in the editor. I could copy this and use this somewhere else. It's smart enough to even say bullet, quickly copy and paste this article. I'm gonna go select it, copy, and then I'm gonna go bullet point this article. And I'm just gonna hit Control V to paste that article in. So I just asked Maya Assist bullet point this article, and then it's the same article, it's just up here, but I just wanted it bullet pointed. So it just summarizes in a little bit of a quicker synopsis that same article. You could do that this multiple times if you wanted to, let's say, compare and contrast two different things. You could quickly ask Maya to summarize X, insert it into the article, and then you could ask it again, summarize Y, insert it, and then make the email the way you want it to look, and you're off and running. You have now the ability to create content very, very quickly in any email. And again, that holds true. So in this example, it was a group email, but if you go into our marketing, you have the ability to, um, let's say, go into a campaign. We do have a bunch of pre-built content already in our content exchange, and that's actually gonna grow now that we can create content using Chat GPT. but this also now allows you to do it on your end to create unique content. But if you wanted to you know, add an additional email to go out day five in this new lead campaign, where it's sending a text the first day, email day two, text day three, email day four. Let's say in addition to this email on day five, I want to add an additional email and I want it to say something about X. Again, I opened up the editor to create that new step. This is where you can add the interval. So I want this to go out day six, but then this is the same exact thing I showed you in that group email functionality. So this is where you could then insert and cut your past communication that you did, so kind of saves it and logs it as a history of what you've created. Now you could ask it to do something else. Create an article about and whatever you want. It's going to create an article for you. Again, there's a lot of literature. You can Google chat GPT and it is very, very popular. If you don't know about it already, simple Google search will give you a lot of background, but being integrated with our system directly, as you see here, allows you to really have um, immediate additional content uh, at your fingertips to add to any email. One other tool that we have in our system that this will also work with is this email constructor. This is just another way that you can create an email in our system. For those that aren't familiar, we have video resources on this. The constructor allows you to create a template so that you could use this templated email is something that you can save and use at any point. You can use the email constructor, create a step in a marketing campaign. And so it's all drag and drop to drag and drop images, text, but the editor is all the same. So like if I wanted to like start with an image on top and then below that, I wanted to have text with an image. When I go to edit the text in our email constructor, when I go to insert edit text, I have that same functionality to insert anything that I want with Maya. You can also see it gives you the option to add images as well. Just like you can type in, create an article about X, you could say create an image of a house in a lovely neighborhood with the sun out. And you can play with it to see the different pictures. And as you gather those pictures, you can save them so that they're in your library to insert in any of your additional content. So it's pretty exciting stuff. The, the ability to have a bunch of pre-built content already in our system, but now the ability to essentially have unlimited amount of content to insert into group emails or automated emails is, is pretty cool. If you don't see that icon, it's just that it hasn't been turned on yet. If we're planning to turn it on this week, if it's not already turned on. To that I'm going to jump into the chat to see if we have any questions. 
So is there an update for Maya? Because you don't have Maya. It may just not be turned on. I would either, if you're the admin, you got to turn it on in your modules. If you're not the admin, you just got to get your admin to turn Maya on in your modules. Question about chatbot with chat GPT front end. Yes, that is certainly going to be an option for us. Not available today, but that's certainly a resource we are talking about internally. Hey, Gavin, market data for weekly or monthly market updates for clients and referral partners. It may be able to, you'd have to ask it questions. We do have a weekly market report that can automatically go out to anyone in your database that pulls data from Mortgage News Daily. If you don't have that set up, you certainly can reach out to our support team to get that set up. If you want to send out weekly rates and or market updates. Uh, you can see if it, if it pulls information via chat EDT, but with Mortgage News Daily is a weekly market report we can send as mentioned. It's also integrated with our social media, so you can post updated Mortgage News Daily news to your audience on social, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter. Is this available on the mobile app? It certainly is. Can it be used for lead gen, chatting with warm leads via text? So I mentioned that that's going to be like the next iteration potentially to have front end facing where it can communicate, but it's not there today.